You're watching Chewing the Cut with Lynn Robertson and Mike Benjamin. <laughs> it was there. It was there. <laughs> but it's come out now. So that's fine. <laughs> Hello there, love monkeys. Mike, nice of you to tear yourself away from the handmaiden's tail. Blessed be the fruit, may his hole open. I think that's the, the phrase. No, that's not funny. Get it off. That's better. Thank you. So, yes, Handmaid's Tale. Really into it at the minute. I don't watch it. You don't watch it, why not? No. I, I don't like the look of it. it it's, it's good. It's lots of blood, guts and pounding. It, see, I don't understand. I, see, I've seen pictures and thought, oh, it's like an um, oldie-worldie programme. Mm. But then it's not, is it? Um, and I did see a clip that was quite traumatising of, of, of ladies escaping from somewhere. Uh -huh. And then one of them got hit by a train. Or yes. two of them got, two hit, them by got hit by a train. And yes. I thought, I don't need that in my life. Yeah, OK. So I, <laughs> uh, so I moved on. <laughs> they, they saw it coming. They actually ran in front of the train. That, I think they thought that they would make it in yeah, time. And that, yeah. That's nothing. Not, not, you can never do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Splat. Gone. Yeah. Just a white white helmet thing on the front of the... They wear white helmet Wings. things, don't they? Wings. Wings. Yeah. OK. So what have you got for us this week, Mike? So, just some little bits from the internet, including a pledge that we can all get behind. Oh. On screen now, you can see our contact info. Yep, it's at The Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us. The Cud.tv for our website. And on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing The Cud and hit subscribe. And as names swing across the bottom of the screen, we glove up and grasp this week's show, Biz Whitley. <laughs> So this week I'm dripping with showbiz news, mm, oozing softened. it, mm, oozing. oozing. Well, there is a new film coming out imminently, imminently called Spencer. Oh, and it's a film about Princess Diana. Oh, oh, why not? Oh. Okay. Well, it stars Kirsten Stewart, who okay. actually plays Lady Diana. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I, I'm, I'm not a massive Kirsten Stewart fan. Ever since she ruined the Twilight saga. Um, so we've got a picture here of the, of the, of the poster for, okay. the, for the film. Um, I'm, it looks like she's in her wedding dress. Well, it doesn't look like she's in a wedding dress, um, having a boo-hoo. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Boo um, I'm just about to become one of the richest people in the world. Mm. Uh. Well, so it, the film basically is about, it's three pivotal days in Diana's life. So it's not a huge, it's not all about her entire life. Okay, it's, it's about three, three days. days. Yeah. Um, so she she's kind of learnt how to speak English with an English accent. Princess Diana? No, Kristen Stewart has oh, learnt okay. how to speak English. Um, with an accent. Um, she got a little bit stressed getting herself ready for the role because she was like saying, everybody knows how Diana spoke, so I had to get the voice right, um, uh, do all that, get you know, have a dialect coach to make sure it's right. Um, we've, we've got a picture of um, Kristen here as Princess Diana, mm -hmm. um, and then we've got a picture of the real Diana. So she, she kind of, mm, she yeah. looks, yeah. Well, she's wearing a, a, a red coat and a black hat. Cat with it, yeah, with a thing over the top. With a veil, so yeah. Yeah. She looks just like Diana because she's got blonde hair. Yeah, she's, yeah. So, um, it's apparently it's a concentrated look at her life on these three days in the early 90s, roughly around 1992. Okay, so we're not going as far as 1997 then. No, it doesn't, no. It doesn't get to that point. Um, so, it's Sandringham Estate where they usually kind of will go and have their holidays and stuff like that. Um, there's the Chris, they talk about Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, because the royals have a bit of a strange tradition over Christmas Eve and Christmas. They have very set ways of doing things okay. um, over Christmas. Um, and you mean it, the fact that they do all presents and things on Christmas Eve? Yeah, but also things like no, no children are allowed. They all have to go upstairs into the mm -hmm. nurseries. And... Um, Nobody can eat any. Can, nobody. Can, once the queen stops eating, everybody stops that's, eating. That's the rules. Full stop. So, anyway. that's that's normal etiquette. But I might still be hungry. Tough. You you can't start eating till the queen started eating, 
and you can't finish. You can't. You have to finish when the queen. I finishes. think they'd be a very sad queen right. because if I haven't mopped up my gravy with a dinner roll, <laughs> I'm not finishing. <laughs> <laughs> she can, they can drag me off, but I, I'll be taking that plate with me. Um, the gentleman that's going to be playing Charles is Jack Farthing, who is from Poldark, um, mm -hmm. and we've got a picture of him. So they, they kind of actually do look. They've both got eyes and noses. They've got yes. eyes and noses and and ears. Yes. Um, which which is <laughs> yeah. So from um, British royalty uh -huh. to another kind of royalty, drag race royalty. Yay! Yay. Another series. So r they have announced that the third series yeah. of Drag Race UK is due to start imminently. It's already been filmed in lockdown and all that kind of stuff. You don't look excited, Mike, by that. I need a break. Do you need a break? I need a break because it it's, it's drag race, drag race, drag race, drag... And it's... You cannot watch them. I choose not to sometimes. You, can, you but... can, yeah. I tend to skip episodes. That last series of All Stars went on for about four years. I've not even finished it. Oh, just hurry up. Anyway, so same judges coming back as in main judges, Alan Carr and um, Graham Norton mm -hmm. and Michelle. So they're all coming back. RuPaul's going to be there as well, I'm assuming. Who? RuPaul. Yeah, RuPaul might, yeah. 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 Or a facsimile of RuPaul, <laughs> a robot version. Um, um, this year's cast, we've got a picture of this year's cast mm -hmm. um, that will be flashing us. We've got a picture of this year's cast here. Beautiful, beautiful ladies. Mm -hmm. um, this year it's history because we're having the first ever cisgender woman um, who is taking part. She's called Victoria Scum. <gasps> oh, um, so, lovely. well. Love Victoria Scum. Do you know Victoria oh. Sponge? Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, so, and also Victoria Green is returning because if you remember last series, she had to go home because she got the Rona. Mm -hmm. um, so she's coming back because they said you've got a free pass to come back. Okay. How long she will last, we'll have to wait and I'll, see. I want first episode to go out. But the bestest news ever mm. is they've really upped their game with guest judges this year. They've got some awesome ones really? this year. So we've got a picture here. So we've got Matt Lucas. Uh huh. He's coming on. Okay. The Kathy Burke. Love Kathy Burke. She's she's going to be on it. Mm -hmm. She can't wait. She loves it. She says that she loves uh, Drag Race. Mm -hmm. um, can't wait. She's a big Drag Race fan. Absolutely brilliant to meet RuPaul. Um, and it said, "It's like it's like old ladies fighting." She said. <laughs> um, and then also Charity Shop Sue, the gay icon that is Charity mm -hmm. Shop Sue. <laughs> <laughs> um, she is going to be on it as well. Brilliant. Um, and then also just to make it just a little like that's if that's not camp enough, mm. let's up the camp value and have steps on all of steps. All of steps. As all well, of judge. steps. I don't know if it's going to be them all together at the same time on the judging panel. Okay. Or they're going to do like um, a task thing. Okay. I don't really know. Well, I do that that weird video interview thing that they, they keep doing to fill time. No, I don't think. I think they're all there in person. Oh, okay. So yeah, so that so I'm not exactly sure when it's going to start, but it's imminent. Okay. Any pictures of the pit crew? Not yet. Ugh. But I'm sure they will. The ones that you've got on your phone, I'll do till then. It comes <laughs> out. Yeah. Okay. Right. So even more camp news. Abba, they're back. They're back. Did they're they back. go away? They, they, were, they were away for a long time, but they're, they're proper, proper back. Uh, I've, not listened, I've not listened to an ABBA song for, for a very You've long time. You've not listened time. to the new ones. So they have announced that they are now back, the first new music after 39 years. So... Uh, <laughs> what? So I've not been alive the whole time ABBA haven't released music. Uh, just to say. <laughs> I was born after they stopped making music. Nice one. Yeah. Well, well done, you. Yeah. Um, so you said that, Lee. So Abba Voyage is is the the title of it. Is it not Voyage? Voyage, Voyage, Voyage. Whatever you want to, however you want to say it, mate. Um, <laughs> so, so we originally thought that they were gonna just release two new songs, which have okay. been released. Okay. Um, but it's not. It's a whole new album. Of okay. all new songs. All right, you've got a bit manic in the eyes. Then <sighs> it's a whole new album. It's a whole new album because we were we were just expecting like a. Greatest hits with two. So two songs have released. First one I'm not so keen on, which is kind of a bit of a ballady song. Okay. Um, and then there's a, a second one, which is a little bit more up tempo. So I still have faith in you is a ballady. Mm -hmm. Ballady. Ballady. Ballad one. Uh -huh. um, and don't shut me down is kind of more up tempo. So okay. they have been released. Right. They're gonna have this sort of um, avatar concert. Avatar. Avatar. They're, they're avatars. So they. So they. So we've got some pictures. <laughs> avatar. Uh, an abattoir, an abattoir of Abba. Just 
hacking fans as he walks through. No, so we've no, it's Avatar. Okay. So um, we've got a picture of um, what these avatars are going to look like. So, so, they've, so what they've done is the band have actually been to London, uh -huh. filmed themselves sort of singing and dancing, okay. and then they're going to be recreated as, these, as their younger selves okay. to do this sort of like amazing stage show. So we've got them here in the suits that they, they wore um, to kind of like <laughs> recreate the, themselves. You're still not impressed, are you? No. It's because I don't want to see M Moose Knuckle from the Abba Boys. Moose have a look, Knuckle? Have a look at that picture. Right? Look. Yeah. What? Moose Knuckle. You're not going to see Moose Knuckle. I can see it now. Yeah, but that, you're not going to see them like that. I didn't need to see that, though. But th but that will be that's just the suit that they wear, the motion capture suit. Then, then there'll be those avatars that you saw before. There'll be no Moose, N Moose Knuckles, Mike. But I've just seen a Moose Knuckle. Yeah, but... Uh, <sighs> I've just seen them. That's yeah, I, yeah, but you look. What, the ladies if, have got skirts on, so you yeah, can't see the camel off. But if you go to see the show, it won't I'm not be going moose to knuckles. See the show. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to put that out there. Right. Okay. My whole life's like an Abba song. Right. Okay. So the holograms will be beamed on stage in this custom-built theatre, uh -huh. and um, it will be amazing, but not for you because you don't like them. And that's the end of the show business. <laughs> Technically, I, I, I quoted Muriel's wedding. Eh? Stick around, because next it's Mike in the Buzz. Watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's have him bring you some buzz. So I've been having a hoof around the internet this week. Nice. Yes, trotting along. Nice. Yeah, yeah. We're coming out of lockdown. Yeah, and things are getting back to normal or the new normal. Yeah. We're starting to really hit some of the, the issues around Brexit. Mm hmm. Yeah. So if you think about in the past few weeks, we've had no milkshakes at McDonald's. Sad times. <laughs> it's like, well, I'm used to that every time I go for a milkshake at McDonald's. Nah, always, machines broken. Machines are always broken. Yeah. But Nando's have run out of chicken. <gasps> yeah. And well, there's chickens everywhere. <laughs> it's not just chickens in, in Brexit. There's chickens in England. <laughs> chickens everywhere. Chickens in Brexit. <laughs> Brexit chickens. You can have English chickens. Chickens. You can, but they're more expensive. Okay. So the cheaper chicken that they use for places like Nando, they import. Oh, okay. It's still chicken. I know, but is it not mankier chicken? It'd still be British standard chicken okay. that we're eating. It's just that if you're importing a lot of chicken, it's okay. Well, it's actually cheap. Economies of scale, it's godly. Okay. Just going to smile and nod at that phrase, aren't you? Just eat chickens in England. Just eat English chickens. Just, there's loads of them. They're, they're everywhere, that. Mike. Everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. You don't walk out the house <laughs> falling over a chicken. Tripping, tripping over chickens, yeah. yeah. Um, well, we've got some, some bad news for Tim Martin. Who's that, then? He's the owner of the Weatherspoons, who is also very pro-Brexit. Oh, he's the one that... Um... Yeah. Um, well, unfortunately, Weatherspoons have admitted they've run out of beer. <laughs> oh. Have they got spirits? They have spirits, but, you know, a, a pint and a burger. Like, That's whatever. a staple of the of spoons, of yeah. the spoons of a spoons, yeah. But um, poor thing has run out of beer. What will he do then? Um, he's still selling um, other stuff, but it's just a bit f a champagne bit and caviar. <laughs> <At> Weather spoons. <laughs> <laughs> it would be champagne. Champagne. Champagne and caviar. Caviar. <laughs> yeah. mm. <laughs> Salmon eggs. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a unfortunate thing for the man who wanted Brexit so badly and said it wouldn't impact our lives to have his business so impacted by Brexit. You've brought politics into the show, Mike, haven't you? I have, it's and I don't feel care. a bit uncomfortable. Has it made you feel a bit uncomfortable? Yeah. OK, I just think it's funny. OK, yeah. What's it, ironic? It's ironic, isn't yes. it, as, as Alanis Morissette don't you think? would say? Like, like rain on your wedding day. Yes. Which isn't really ironic, that's just bad weather. 10,000 spoons and all you need is a fork. Knife. Is it? Yeah. Moving on. OK. Um, so... Education, very important. It is. It is. Um, we're going to America for this little piece of news. Where they go to school till they're 27. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like, no, that's just when they're, it's so like in 90210 that they're yeah. playing like 12 yeah. and they're 42. Um, a teacher has been sacked, well, removed from the classroom. They don't do sacking, they're removing from the classroom. Okay. Um, after asking students to pledge allegiance to the LGBTQI inclusive flag. Rather well, that's than the, a bit silly, isn't it? The American flag. Yeah. It's America. 
<laughs> What's happened is um, during lockdown, um, she took down the flag to keep okay. it safe, right. and she can't find it. Okay. And every day at like three o'clock, they have to read the Pledge of Allegiance while saluting and staring the at the flag. The LGBTQI sort of. flag or the American flag? The American flag. She took that away. Yeah. Right, okay. right. And because they have to read, say the Pledge of Allegiance every day, okay. they need a flag to do it to. Right, okay. So she went, I know what I can do. Pop, pop. Okay. And, and parents obviously went off on one going, oh, this isn't right, this isn't fair. Okay. Because, you know, they're a bit like that. I mean, do you know what's in the American Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge... Uh -huh. To do my best no, in scouts. my brownie. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Okay, so we've actually got it here. Oh, okay. thrilling. So, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Yeah? Nah, yeah, it's all right. It's a bit, a bit dry. Um, a bit dry. A bit dry. It's a bit dry, isn't it? Well, it just covers all all the areas there, yeah. doesn't it, really? Well, unless you're an atheist. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I, I was thinking that, you know, if you've got an LGBTQ flag, maybe they should, they, we should have an LGBTQ plus um, flight pledge. We do. What is it? I will survive by Gloria Gaynor. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> That's just a song. First, I was afraid. I was petrified. That, that, just, you just say the words to the song and that's it. <laughs> no. Um, so we've got the um, LGBTQI plus flag here. Yes. Okay. And I thought it'd be good if we, we said our own little pledge. Oh, right. Okay. okay. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag, flag of all LGBTQI, LGBTQI plus, plus people for the entitlement to equality, equality that it represents, represents together, together as, as one, one community, community indivisible, indivisible with, with liberty and justice, <laughs> justice for all. all. That's very good, Mike. Did you make that? I wrote that. Okay. I penned that myself. That's good. I still prefer... I was first that. I was afraid I was petrified. Yeah. Then I don't remember anymore after that. <laughs> Kept thinking how I could never live with that by side. Beside, yeah. 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 What about Your Disco Needs You by Kylie Minogue? Yeah. See, there's too many. Blah, 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 blah. That's <laughs> the Frenchy bit in the middle. The what? The, the rappy bit in Did the I middle. Did <laughs> La Disco Desire et Vous. There. Just amalgamation of all of them, really. Thank you, Lee. But if you want to interact with us on social media, and I don't know why you wouldn't with that, it's at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv, and on YouTube we are under Chewing The Cud. So let's talk about our story of the week. Okay? Aldi have released a new food thing. Have they? And I know how much you love me doing a food I, story. I do love one of your rank, rank <laughs> food experiments. No, no, they're not rank. They're never good, are they? Yeah, we've had some good things in the past. That pasty was good that we had the other week. It was dry, but it was good. It was like eating a sponge. <laughs> I don't know, I've never eaten a sponge, Lee. <laughs> cake, yes. Sponge cake, not a sponge. No, I mean, a dish sponge. Okay. I mean, anyway, Aldi have released a, a range of cheeses. Oh. Yeah. Um, that, s that contain flavours of summer cocktails. Odd. Odd, but interesting. It is. Yeah. So we've got, uh, there's three. There's the espresso martini. Coffee. Coffee flavoured. Peach bellini. Peach. And champagne. Oh, I like, oh, okay. Yeah. And then pina colada. Pina colada. Which is pineapple. Mm. Now, you see, I knew I'd get that face as soon as I mentioned pineapple and cheese. Is it coconut in pina colada? There is coconut in pina colada, but this is it's pineapple. Oh, cheese. right. So no, no. Okay. Yeah. Uh... Well, what's the point of it, Mike? Why? Why not? Mm. So look, here comes the clush, because you love the clush. Oh, yeah, I do, I do, I do, yeah. Yeah. Now, it's very difficult to get hold of these cheeses. It is. So what I did instead was I created my own. Oh, marvellous. So we have... <gasps> oh, it's a sensation. Why is it brown, cheeses. Mike? Because there's... So we've got... Prosecco cheese. No, no. Why is it brown? Cheese coffee. isn't brown. No, it's coffee cheese. They weren't brown and that had coffee in it. So why is it brown? Because I used instant coffee. Why is it brown cheese? Because I've made, put coffee in cheese. <laughs> I've put coffee in cheese. Cheese shouldn't be brown, Mike. <laughs> so I've got Prosecco cheese, mm. coffee cheese, mm. and I, I didn't have any pineapple at home, but I had Biscoff, so I've made Biscoff cheese. <sighs> Which would you like to try first? No, none of them. Which would you like to try first? Because I've not tried these either. I'll try the the cheese coloured one <laughs> the first. The prosecco flavoured one. Okay. 
Why is it mushy? <laughs> because all I've done is melted cheese and added Prosecco. That doesn't smell nice. Mmm, it's got a very interesting texture. That's not, that's not cheese. <laughs> it, it was cheese. That's not cheese. It is. I, 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 need, it, I need it off my face. <laughs> swallow it. I so can't, I... You have to swallow it. <laughs> it. Why is it fizzy? <laughs> it's Prosecco. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's got an aftertaste of vomit. <laughs> That's like eating sick. <laughs> Should we move on to the coffee? No, I don't want to try. <laughs> so this is this is decaf coffee as well, because I can't have caffeine. Why is it so uniformly brown? How did you make it <laughs> so, so I, brown? I, I melted cheese and added it to coffee and then set it again. <sighs> you should never be able to scoop cheese with a spoon. Oh, that's just coffee. I'm not eating that. Actually, no, it's not. That's actually not bad. <laughs> no, it's... See, coffee to start with, then cheese aftertaste. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Would you like to tap it out on the... On the, the... Oh, look, it, it, it right. flubbed itself on that. And then the last one is Biscoff flavoured. God. Oh, this is a crumbly cheese. It's not... It's... <laughs> There's no way I get a little bit of this one either. That smells biscuity. Mmm. Oh, no, I actually like that. You like that one? I don't like that one. Mm, yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that I could have. The other two. <laughs> what is it, Mike? What have you put in it? It's not, it's not Biscoff, is it? It's it something is Biscoff. Hideous. It's Biscoff. Is it lard? No, it's Biscoff cheese. Mmm. Mm. And cat food. <laughs> it's not really. I don't have a cat. Yum. Yum to that. Uh -huh. That's a cake. Those two. Death, evil. <laughs> that one tastes like sick. That one tastes like, like sick, fizzy sick. Oh, yeah. That tastes like filth. That uh -huh. one, yummy. Okay. One out of three is not bad. <laughs> it's not going to rinse the taste from my mouth. So what I created sort of like from my own brain worked. Following Aldi's footsteps, not worked. Well, perhaps that, you know, the, the, the debacle that was the, what was the biscuit thing that you invent, said you invented that they stole from you. <laughs> the, <laughs> the nice biscuit. Bump. Yes. That you've, 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 Brought it back from the brink. There we go. Cool. Oh. Oh, I'm getting a minty aftertaste from something there. Anyway, that's all from the buzz this week. Well, thank you, Mike. Feels like my mouth is, is like seizing up. Anyway, stick around. As coming up next, we have our game of the week. watching Chewing the Cud. This week we are playing Synonym Game. Mm -mm. Mike, you just need to go. That's a bit harsh. Just go. Walk out the door. Just turn, turn around, around now. now. Game of the Week. The rules are quite simple. Mike will give me up to three clues and I have to guess what links them all together. And as we all know, I really enjoy this game so very, 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 very much. Are you ready, Mike? I, I am ready. I hope you are. Let's lob the first one out then. Okay. Stiffening. No, I, I don't know. You're going to have to give me a second one. Okay. The second one is blue. Stiffening blue. No, I don't know. You don't even have any guess? Stiffening blue, no. No. Okay. Uh, oh! The snowman's penis. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Erectile. Stiffening blue. Viagra. It is Viagra. Well done. Well done, me. Yes. I don't need Viagra. <laughs> no, it's hard all the time. Irritation. Party. Party, party, party! Invitation. Oh, no. no. Irritation. Imitation. Irritation. Irritation. Not invitation. 
Irritation. You need to enunciate properly, man. I can't hear you properly. Irritation. Irritation. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Baby. Parent. Emo hair. Irritation, baby. Emo hair. Mm -hmm. A mullet. <laughs> Justin Bieber. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I did not get that one. Okay. Rest your balls on me. Well, it's your chin, clearly. <laughs> Mike's chin. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right answer. It's not. <laughs> Four. A what? Four. 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 Rest your balls on me. Mm -hmm. Four. Is it one of those little tea things? Yes, well done. Oh, not your chin, though. Not my chin, no. no. Throw and catch. Playground games. Big top. Acrobat. Throw and catch an acrobat. They throw and catch each other, don't they? <laughs> I guess it's just one lobby an acrobat as someone. <laughs> um, small spheres. Small what? Spheres. 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 Throw and catch. Big top. Small spheres. I don't know. Something to do with the circus. Juggling. Oh. Okay. Prolapse. You were Pride Weekend. You have more than one of these. More than one prolapse? No, no, no. You can prolapse is one clue. You can have more than one. You have more than one of these. Is the second clue. Hole. Mm, no. Orifice. No. Stop guessing now. That's cheating. Um. You don't have more than one bum hole. It's a muscle. Prolapse. It's a muscle, and you have more than one. Mhm. Mm I don't know. Okay, it's a sphincter. You don't have more than one sphincter. You do. Where? Because the, the sphincter's not just your bum hole. It's anything that opens and closes like that. All right. Expert at uh, holes. No. Tradesman knows his tools. <laughs> Horny beast. Horny beast? Yeah. <laughs> don't say me at pride again. Uh, <laughs> 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 now that would be a rancid beast. <gasps> the shock, the shock look through the gauzy screen. <laughs> um, it's there to protect you. <laughs> is it a cow? No. 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 Um, Pumba. Pumba. Oh, a warthog. A warthog, yeah. We love this game. You ignore these. Humanity in general. <laughs> okay. Um, you're supposed to count to three. I don't know. <laughs> I have another a third clue. You can have a third clue. Um, Often used at busy junctions. A Belisha beacon. A what? A Belisha beacon. No. Um, a stop sign. Oh, okay. <laughs> Frilling. Let's, let's have another one. It could be tar. It could be tar. Mm. Treacle. 
All right, treacle. 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 I know treacle. Okay. Just stop saying the word treacle. <laughs> <laughs> you looked to me like you didn't know what treacle was. How, how'd you get treacle from tar? Because it's, it's black and sticky. Singing. So it could be tar. It's singing. Hmm. So a word that links those two together. Tar sing. No, I need the third one. I don't. I can't see the. And the sails. And a sail. Sails. Sails. Yeah. <sighs> no. You're not even having to guess. No. Use the use the phrase a sails and think of a word to finish it. A sails of treacle. You insist on bringing this game out every single week, so don't blame me. <laughs> I don't insist on it, it happens. <laughs> pitch. I don't understand it. You don't understand pitch? I don't understand how those become together. Right, so tar is also known as pitch. Oh. Right? To sing, you sing with pitch. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's a sales pitch. Oh. It's saying something. Right. It's the word pitch. Oh. Well, for the one viewer that's left watching this. <laughs> Hitch. <laughs> so. Rubber. Johnny. Yes. <laughs> Tea bag. Your chin. Coin purse. Scrotum. Scrotum, correct. <laughs> it's big, but there's one bigger. It's big, but there's one bigger. You're like motto in life. <laughs> I'll take that, yeah. <laughs> Down by me knee. Right, um, it's in Africa. <coughs> That's not my answer. Just a, it's just a bit of dust in the air. Continent. No. 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 <laughs> what is it? Um, Kilimanjaro. Oh right, great clues though. For, yeah. It's in Africa. It's bigger. Yeah. You could have said was... it's in Africa. It's a mountain. Well, I was going to, but you, you said what is it? Yeah. I did get a third clue. You just asked what is it. You did. I thought you'd given up. No, I said what's the third clue. Uh, you gave me a third clue. It's uh, whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm arguing. I hate the game in the first place. <laughs> right, the next, la next one. Last one now. Last one. Thank God for that. It's a punch. A puppet. <laughs> you do this to a puppet. Fist it. Yeah, it's fisting. Well done. Well, that was oh, okay. Yeah. That's it. Oh, done. No, oh, well, well, yeah, great. Great. I'm on a high now, yeah. Stay with us. It, well, I mean, I wouldn't blame you if you didn't, but after this quick break, it's that science that is. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time for that part of the show that we call that science that is. That science, that is. Oh, you've caught me mid glove. So, practice at that, aren't you? What, getting my fist in something? Yep. Yep. And it involves latex, too. You're aware about the, the world shortage of, of oil, Lee? The world shortage of oil? Yeah, how we're all going to run out of oil soon. It's constantly on my mind, Mike. Yes, and that would mean that plastics also have a, we have a problem. Well, we don't really want plastics anyway, do we? Oh, we use them a lot, though. We do, yeah. but you know. Yeah, they're not great for the environment, but we do no. use a lot of them. So what we need to do is come up with alternatives for plastic. Really? Yeah, and the good news is you can make your own plastic out of milk. Can you? You can. Wow. But it's actually not just the milk itself, it's actually the fatty cells in, in milk. That we're going to separate out. So, a very a very low 
low tech version for you this week. Okay. It's just about mixing. So we're making plastic. We're making plastic out of okay. milk. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to make a, a nice little objet d'or from the plastic. Oh, how delightful. So on, on your desk, you should have a glass with some milk in it. I do. Yeah. It, it's full fat milk. So. Yeah. Is it cow milk? It is cow. It is from a moo cow. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the other one, you should have some water. I, I do believe I can see it. Take a sip. You want me to drink it? Drink, no, take I'm a sip good. of your water just to prove it's water. You do it first. Okay. No, it's not. It's vinegar. It is. It's vinegar. Don't ever, don't ever <laughs> cross me. Don't, as if anything that you ever give me, I'm not going to smell it first. <laughs> Don't know why. Okay, so in your milk, yeah? In my milk, what? In your milk, we need to put four tablespoons of, of vinegar. I'd oh. suggest putting your gloves on. I will do that, Mike. Yeah. This will only take about a week. Oh! That's not quality. That's not quality rubber. <laughs> oh! It's falling, completely falling to pieces. I think you've sabotaged it. I think you overstretched them before we started. <laughs> Imagine if I was like a surgeon and this is what you saw <laughs> before you went under. Just getting my gloves on. Right, okay, got my gloves okay. on. So you want to put four spoons of vinegar into your milk. Four teaspoons of vinegar. One, two, three, four. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then slowly start to stir. Ooh, what you'll going... start to see happening is a reaction. It's going chunky. It's going chunky. It is. So it's starting to look a bit like semen. You'd know. I would know, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, once you've once you've got once you've got some chunks. Yeah. You I've not got massive chunks. They, they won't be massive chunks, they're only little chunks. Okay. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to basically just decant them a little bit. Decant them? Yeah. So using the spoon and the side of your glass, just try and let, let some of the vinegar away while keeping some of the solid. This is easier with a sieve. And then we're just going to pop your solid into your mould. So that, that grainy stuff... That grainy stuff is actually the plastic. Okay. All right. Exciting, this, isn't it? This is going to take quite a while. It will take quite a while, you're right. Can I put more vinegar in? Um, you can, but it won't make it any better. Will it not? No. Because what actually happened here is because you've changed the pH balance of the, the liquid... So, because we've made it more acidic, it means that the proteins are then separated out from the rest of the liquid. Okay. Okay. So, this will take a while. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now, if you look in the cupboard, I've given you a cheat. If I what? If you have a look in the little cupboard, I've given you a cheat. Okay. Ooh. Oh, there's some powder. It's not powder. Oh, no, it's not powder. It's curdled something. So this is the plastic. So this is this one's been set for... <laughs> Did you just smell it and expect it to... Ooh. Did I tell you to smell it? I smell everything that you give me. So just <laughs> be careful. Oh, yeah, you do, don't you? It's almost like I knew you'd do that after the vinegar. <laughs> mm -hmm. but it's the same stuff we just made. It's only slightly set. So you, you want to get that out with your spoon. Okay. Okay. And then you can pop that in your little man as well. Mush, mush it in. Mush it in. I feel that the pre-made stuff is more successful. Well, no, it's just because all I've done there is I've, I've spent the time fishing it out and then mixing it back together again. Slow weekend then, was it? Not really, no. 
sacrificed my time and effort for this. I know, like, people ringing, suddenly coming out, I'm like, no, I'm sorry, I'm fishing my curds from my way. Indeed, like little Miss Muffet. Right, I've done it. Okay. I know what you can do is you can either let it dry or you can bake it. Yeah? Yeah. And then it'll become a lovely little man. And then what? And then you can, you can have it as a, a Christmas decoration or... Oh. A key ring. Oh, a key ring. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay. You dog that size that is everything you like. <laughs> right? I've given you something easy to do. Right, I've given you pre-made stuff and I'm still getting chewed. Well, don't blame me. What's playing the content? <laughs> this is good content. I mean, when you said we're going to do a segment called That Science That Is, I imagine Bunsen burners. I can really I imagine, trust you with Bunsen burners. You know, burners. like chemicals that make explosions. I didn't imagine like cold jizz in a jar, <laughs> sticking it in a bloody gingerbread man shape and then going, oh, if you cook it in the oven, you can stick it up your bum. I, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend sticking it up your bum. It's vinegar. It's acidic. Well, will the vinegar not burn off if you cook it? It was one might do, but it might concentrate it. Okay. But yeah. So so this this is plastic when it dries. So we by doing this we could end the world's dependence on like oil plastic. Right. 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 So 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 you 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 having to go at my my gingerbread man slash Christmas ornament. What are you going to make out of plastic then? What could you make out of plastic? Well, useful stuff. Like what? Like bin bags and and shopping bags and um, other bags, containers. <laughs> containers. So you just stuff to carry stuff in. Yeah, but I'm not going to spend four hours scooping a bit of gin well, out. As of some I said, milk. you could you could use a sieve to do it. Got to be a better way, Mike. As I said, you could use a sieve. Yeah. You just don't have a sieve in the studio. You can use um, bamboo for bags. <laughs> <laughs> I love the thought process for something. No, you can, which seems to be much, much more um, sort of time efficient than. Well, no, because you've got to soak the bamboo and separate out the strands, mm -hmm. so you get individual fibres, and then so and then weave them together. So it's no less or more time consuming, time consuming than this. You're just looking at me blankly. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Well, I thought that was brilliant. That's science. That is. That science, that is. Taking your gloves off. I have. Are you done? Yeah, I'm finished. All oh, right. Done. Yeah. That's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And, of course, on YouTube and podcasts. Just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching. I will see you all soon. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Put all this effort in.